Hey guys, this is one of the videos in my graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph polar curves on your TI-84 Plus CE and similar model graphing calculators. In this video, we are going to graph the polar curve R equals cosine 3 theta. Without further ado, let's get to it. If I press the Y equals button, Notice this button here that has x, t, theta, and n on it. When I press that, I get my inputs in terms of x. But to graph polar curves, I need my inputs to be in terms of theta, and instead of y equals, I need this to be r equals. So what I'm going to do is press mode and arrow down until the cursor is blinking on radians and uh, press enter so radian is selected otherwise it won't work then arrow down to where it says function and I'm going to arrow over to polar and once the cursor is blinking on polar uh, press enter on some model calculators this might be abbreviated as func uh, f u n c and this might be pol but uh, now you know it's function and polar so now we're going to go back to y equals. Notice that we have r equals this time. And if we type in, if we press this button, we get inputs in terms of theta. Let's do uh, cosine 3 and theta. Then close the parenthesis. Now press graph. And this graph might be really small because the graphing window is not uh, appropriate so press zoom and arrow down to zoom fit press enter and the graph will uh, and, and the graphing will, window will be adjusted to suit your graph if you wanted to go back and change the graphing window you can press the window button and change whatever uh, window setting you wanted. I'm going to change the y minimum to go from negative once. So when you're choosing negative always use the negative button instead of the minus uh, sign. So negative one arrow down and I'm going to make the y max just one. Press enter and go back to graph and there we have it. And one more uh, thing if we now go back to mode and switch this from polar to back to function when I press y equals whatever inputs I had as uh, and the setting of function those still are there they're not erased and if I go back to the polar setting whatever input I had as uh, as the calculator was in polar setting is maintained and there you have it that's how you graph polar curves on the TI-84 plus CE. As always, if you have any questions or are facing trouble with the operation, feel free to comment below. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing calculator and scientific calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care, guys.